I clean my palette. I take water, I take the razor, I, whatever paint's in there, they're gone. I get them out of there. Now, not the not the piles of paint, not the, um, you know, like I just put that ultramarine blue. I mean, where I'm mixing, I get them out of there. And it's because the, those little dried up, thin layers of mixed paint in there uh, will pollute. Um, I'll, I'll, they kind of dissolve and flake and they get into the next thing of painting uh, that I'm painting and I don't like that. And I used to fight that and I'm like, well, I just need to start cleaning my palette. Now that looks better. Does it match that perfectly? No. It looks like he's almost got a little white shirt on underneath it. Maybe that's what this is. There's another shirt underneath. If that helps me draw this better, I'll Put it in. I'm not convinced it is now. The other thing I noticed, tiny little things, his shirt is more against his arm here. Right? I've got it kind of coming away a little bit. So we got to fix that too. We got to fix that too. Nice dark. We'll put some lights on him too when we when we're happy with his drawing. I'm bet that's better. I'm happier with that. I'm happier. It's always good when you're happier. Ooh, picked up a bunch of blue. Bunch of blue. It's also good to see, you know, in here there's like little purples and things going on. You know, it's, it's faint. It's faint. Um, but you know, if if Putting that in adds a little character, a little interest, and it's actually there. Wow, that's uh, that was not even close. I'm off my game. Off my game. I think that must be some of this. I don't know. I don't. Doesn't matter. Um, and what I just did was try to make the, I, I wiped that off and try to make it more of a chiseled point. A little more white, a little more opaque is what I need because it's pretty bright there. But I'll, it's got to make sense against this, right? We'll leave that for now. Leave it for now. Is he the right size? Yeah, pretty close. Is he a little thin here? He may be reading a little thin to me only because I don't have his highlights in and things. I think that'll make him pop a little bit. Uh, I gotta get his hat. Right, his hat looks a little uh, fluffy on the top of his head. Like I had that drawing right, um, or wrong rather, um, which I think I did. Dummy, dummy, what a dummy. Um, kind of harsh. Oh, yeah, dummy. All right, let's see. A little bit, a little bit of character in there. Um, not digging the shape. I'm not digging that shape. Just didn't make sense. Make it a little bit more. That makes a little more sense to me. It does to me. Let's leave that. Let it dry. I'll probably. I think I need to take some of the top, that top of that hat off. It just looks a little big to me. Let's put a little bit of. Let's. Let's put a little bit of character, a little bit of vibrant saturation is what I would call it. And we're going to do that with the old phthalo blue. And the, again, this I never really do this, but because I'm struggling, now I admit it, I'm struggling, with making that look very vibrant, I wonder what that would look like. Let me show you the phthalo. See what I mean? <laughs> that is a vibrant blue. 
Now, if I put it on just like that, it's going to be too dark, right? Too dark. Now, when you mix it with water, it kills some of its saturation, right? But this paint is so vibrant that that's probably going to be okay. It's still going to be better than ultramarine. See what I mean? Even though it's... Um, let's make it even bright. Let's make put a little more white in it. I mean, let's be honest, that's uh, it's better. It's definitely better uh, than the ultramarine. Now, mixing that with Dad Burn You. It's not plugged in, that's why it keeps doing this. Uh, because I want, because I want this on this side. <laughs> you thought you was going to get me. I want it on the right side so I can paint over here and not be in the way as much. I, the plug won't reach, and I'm too hungry to go get a extension cord. But the main thing is, you're seeing this, right? This is uh, that was the right move. Now, that's not bad. We need to put more paint on it. So, what look? What does it look like? What does it look like if I take the brilliant, the brilliant green? that brilliant lime green and, and mix a little bit of that color in it. Boy, that, that phthalo. There's a reason I did not choose to, uh, when I was trying to decide on what are my primaries. A lot of artists do use phthalo glue. Um, it's just it's just so saturated. It's a beautiful color, but you know you can imagine if I if I stuck with this instead of let's see what happens. Let's let's play a game. Let's let's figure stuff out. So there's something about ultramarine blue and burnt sienna that they're perfect complements. Where I can mix even parts of both of them and it turns dark. So let's see what happens if I do that with these. It looks like I'm going to have to really load up the burnt sienna because that's that's more that's more burnt sienna than it is uh, that phthalo. Now, is it a nice color? Sure, it's a nice color. But look look how that phthalo is just kicking the crap out of the burnt sienna. I can see where it's a um, useful. If you are a vibrant, uh, if you're all about color, and some artists are all about color, I'm not, uh, it's important. If you are, and you're gonna do a lot of floral stuff, things like that, then I would highly recommend you playing around with this phthalo. Now I'm putting it on, because it is in shadow, I don't want it to be too bright. <laughs> Drops down a little bit right there. Didn't make me too. And actually, this side comes up more. I don't know why I had that drawing wrong. I guess I was drawing it or painting it not looking there, which is dangerous. And I've done that before. It's kind of funny when um, <clears throat> there's times where I will uh, spend a long I don't do it as much anymore because I know better. Um, I'm brainwashed to not do it. But there are times where I'll get caught up. And I look here and I paint here for five minutes and I don't look over there. And then I, I kind of freak out. Because I know I've probably screwed something up. Right? Because uh, I'm so used to I, I know that you've got to look here. So let's take that crazy. I mean, let me show you what I mean. That's burnt sienna. That's thalo. At a glance, they look the same, but you see, I mean, that is crazy brilliant. And, that, and that's the, this that's dried up was, was even parts of that and that. This is more of that 
it's just gosh it's it's crazy it's crazy so anyway i got my burnt or i got my uh phthalo blue and i'm gonna mix red with it now red is an overpowering color, so this sh this should uh, this should give us some purple. This all about gonna give us some purple that I would think would hold up against white, but it doesn't look like it is. So I put white in there, and it turns muddy, which is very surprising to me. I'm really perplexed. I am very much. Perplexed. Hmm. I was really confident. Now I'm gonna put it up there, but this is what I've got. <laughs> it, you know, it may work underneath. It may work like right there, where it maybe had a little more shadow. It makes sense that there'd be a little shadow there, but. Uh, I really thought, let's add more white. I really thought that was going to be the ticket. And it's, uh, hmm. it's not the vibrant purple. It's, it's more bluer to me. And I, hmm. Is that critical? Eh, to me it is. I, I mean, I really want it to look more better. Uh, let's see. Let's take this up a little. Did I come down with now? Was that all right? Oh, yeah, I did that. I was about to say, I got that drawn wrong. I got that drawn wrong. Yeah, that's, um... Oh, well, I'll, I'll quit blabbling. So what I want to do... Purple comes. The purple comes up. Maybe no. Does or does I, do I just have her trunk too long? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? There. There. Let's see. There. To the top of the leg. So there. No. Interesting. Pretty sure the purple is too is too far. Let me just come up just a little bit. And now I've mixed some white. It looks a little better. Looks a little better. Too much. Like that. Let's see. Let's see what this does. The reason I'm doing that, not as much do I see it over there. Eh, there's a little bit of it down in here, right? Just a little bit. What I want to do is, that because that's there, it, it, it'll be nice to add, add it other places. And it's just a little bit crazy with it, but uh, even maybe right there, have that shadow break a little bit of this up, so it's not just that color, little artistic uh, options that I've got here. Well, if I don't like it, I'll paint it out. No big deal. No big deal. See it's right there. See right there? I see right there. Lighten it a little. Oops. 
Oopsie. Oopsie. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not happy over here. Not happy with this. At a glance, does it look like that? Yeah. I got to remix. I got to remix this. Take just a second. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There. Need to come over it lighter, I know that. Um, quit yelling at me. Um, that angle. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. There's an angle issue here. That needs to, there's a little bump of purple, I think, that's bothering me. It's right in that breaking wave. It's right in it. So what are we gonna do about it? What are we gonna do about it? see here we're gonna bring that yeah I think I know what I need to do and I'm not gonna turn that because it's such a pain in the butt um, I got a remix I got a remix that purple do you believe that uh, well, maybe have it oh close close I'm looking there imagining Ooh. It's better. It's better. Um, it comes down a little bit like she's got a loaded diaper. That's my fault. Um, it's that's definitely not the shape. Definitely not the shape. So let's fix that. I need to get more of the water out of my brush because I keep using the same brush. More of the water. And this is how, you know, this is kind of how I float back and forth. People, water, clothes, you know, into skin. You know, now I'm sneaking over into the skin to fix stuff. And while I'm over here, it's like, oh, well, let's go, we'll go ahead and paint her arms in and all kinds of things. So, so what I'm trying to do there is not match what was there. I'm trying to match more what I see over here. And this comes like that, right? Yes, right, John, right, John. That's better. And she's got a butt cheek. Look at her butt cheek. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. Bad brush, bad brush. I like the color, though, if it'll, um, if it will. I like that, please. Too big of a brush. It's too big. I, th I say that hoping that the painting gods will go, you know what? We won't screw you up, John, because we know you're you're trying. You're, you've got a you got too big of a brush, so we'll take it easy on you. Never works. Now, I want you to see how I'm going to shape this. There's a reason I turned it at this angle, because it's a little easier with me being right-handed. See that? What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? What? It's a little bit more than that. Her leg does come out a little bit more. This would, You can imagine this would be easier to see if I turn that sideways. Baby, did I get carried away? Maybe, maybe. Don't think so. Okay. 
Maybe a little wine. Maybe a little wine. Look, I wiped it all out. Wiped it all out. It was a little wine. It was a little wine. I didn't want to admit it. Matthew's arm. We're just sneaking up on the highlights. Sneaking up on them. I mean, obviously, we know that's not going to be how it stays. In the back of his head. He sees the back of that ear. The back of that ear. Is that going to take? Yep. See that? See that? It's real subtle. We don't get carried away. There's, there's a little bit of that on the back of his neck, but that's a little too, too much, I think. This, remember this is, I'm looking there, this is where his calf came out and cast a shadow. Oop, a little too much. Cast a shadow on that other one. That's drawn very poorly. I know it is. This one is ankle is too. He's too thick. He's got cankles. My boy's got cankles. Um, let's see if I can do this, and it still makes sense to me. And I do. More better, more better, more better. More better. A little dark. Maybe too dark. Maybe too dark. But it's wet. Well, it's wet. Sneak up on it, sneak up on it. Her hair. Let's jump up there and mess with that hair a little bit. So what color is it? Now I've got gold paint, which I'm not going to use, but there's some gold going on in there. So to me, what I see is I see yellow and I see burnt sienna and, and some white. Rather not use the white, uh, as little as I can. It's warm, warm, warm. Little spots, little spots. Don't have to get crazy. <coughs> little spots. While I've got that color, is there any of that on her skin? That it's brighter than that. It's brighter. Is there any of that in the water? No. I'm not saying it. I mean, you could really hit it, you know, little spots under here, but that's really not, not really there, is it? Yeah, I know it's too warm. I shouldn't have put that there. But I like to leave things. And if I forget about it, that's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Um... going to end up having to do something like this. I, I, I got too much water. I knew I did. Dang on it. So what do you do? You wipe it out and pick up much more paint. But we're going to end up doing some of it's big, Too big a brush. It is. We're going to be doing some of this, right? Putting in some little highlights. In our hair, we're going to put them on her. This right here is going to be tough for me to do. Really tough with this brush. So why? 
earth would I still have this brush in my hand? Oh, I don't know. Um, some of it on right there. He's got a little shot of it right there. And that neck needs to come down. That's probably why his head looks the distance between his shirt and his hat, his neck and the back of his head, it looks long to me and I think I see what. I think I got it. So what do you do? You try to mix something. Remember, I got to start from scratch because I don't have this color. That's all right. This is where you got to get good at mixing color. You mix something's too red. To me, it's a little bit too red. It's close. Nice first stab. I'm going to mix just a touch because I've got that green out here. Normally, I would take yellow and blue. I'm going to grab a little bit of that green, which should dull it a little. Should dull it a little. So there's the shape that comes down. All right, so let's do this the right way. Instead of me chancing this, let me show you how I would do this. For real. Because of my hand, the way my hand is. Now, if you look at this now, if you look at this now, this angle right here, it looks subtle, subtle, but this comes like that. Is it, is that right? Is it right? I think it's right. Just a little bit there. I think it's right there. <laughs> baby. Yeah, baby. Wow, I've been going for an hour. Are you kidding me? I guess it's time to quit. Y'all are probably sick of watching this. I don't. I've never had a session this long that I can that I was taping anyway. Whoops. Let's get it back to where it should be. Progressing, progressing. That helped. That helped. It takes a while. So now I got to get that shirt up a little bit wider. Right, bring that up a little. And uh, we'll pause it for now and walk away from it.